Hello again, Happy New Year. This is the first official video of uh, 2022. Um, working on a tune called Back Home Again in Indiana by Ballard McDonald and James Harley. It's an old time tune, but it was the basis harmonically for Charlie Parker's Donna Lee, so that's how I got interested in it. Um, there's video on YouTube of Glenn Campbell doing it in a couple of different versions. On one of them, he's really improvising and he's really shredding quite a bit. And then there's another insane uh, version with Joe Pass and Niels Orsted, Niels Henning Orsted Peterson. I always get his name screwed up. But this great, great virtuoso bass player from Europe. And Joe and Niels are doing Donna Lee, and it's like 423 miles an hour, and it's insane. But anyway, let's start with um, Back Home Again in Indiana. I, I intend to do one on the Charlie Parker line on this, which is um, uh, Donna Lee. But in order to do that, I'm going to have to be able to play it, and that's not really there yet. So I'm working on that one. But here's um, Back Home Again in Indiana. Uh, it's in the key of A flat major, and we're going to start here. I'm going to try not to over-explain, because I know I waste a lot of time with verbiage, but... I'm going to come up for our first chord. It's going to be an A flat 6. Now we're going to go to... Barring with the middle, first three strings, we've got the index on the fourth string only, and we've got the pinky on the first string. It's actually a C minor 7 flat 5, going to an F7, okay? This is barring the first four strings with the index, middle's on the 11th fret. It's the top of an F9. So the middle's barring the first three strings, the index is only on the fourth string. Then we're going to move to this B-flat 7. So that's a nice little phrase for chord melody. Somehow it works out nicely. Um, from the top, A-flat 6, C-7, flat 5, F7, F9, B-flat 7. Now all this is here, the B-flat 7, you know it's a B-flat 7 bar chord, but leave off the bottom two notes. Melody goes G, A flat. Now C is the top note of a B flat minor 9. G melody note. E flat 9 with C on top. B flat on top. Back home to, not Indiana, but back home to A flat 6. Okay. One more time on this first A section. flat minor 7, D7 sharp 11, very distinctive chord. Okay, so this little phrase here is E flat minor 7, D7 sharp 11, an F sharp note landing on this pretty D flat major 7. Okay, so I'm playing as far as the second string here. Then I let the pick just finish on out by playing the first string. D flat minor seven. Just play a G flat root, fifth string, ninth fret, and then the next two strings. So this is that little triangle shape. So first you're gonna play the root. Then we're gonna go down to this A flat major seven. The way I'm doing it is I'm barring all six. Pinky's on the fifth string. Middle two fingers, two and three, are on the fourth and third strings. Similar technique here. The pick's only going to go as far as the second string. Then you let it finish out on the first string. Then we're going to go to an F9. Play a C sharp note on the first string. Now we've got a B flat 13 with a D on top. minor 7, back to E flat 7, like the beginning, A flat 6, C minor 7 flat 5, F7, F9, B flat 7, melody, G, A flat, 
G minus seven flat five with a C on top. Okay, here I'm barring the first three. I have the index on the fourth, and this is on the first. G melody note on the second string. C7, it's like a C7, but with leaving out the bottom two notes. Second string, 11th fret for the B flat. And now we've got F minor, seven, with the A flat as our melody note on the second string. Change to a C. Just that C on the eighth fret, sixth string, and then this is a C7 sharp five. So I've got these two fingers on strings three and four. Um, these two fingers on strings three and two. F minor seven again. Go down a fret for the first string. Now C7, only as far as the second string. Melody note is the B flat. Play the first string C, B flat, G, and now our melody note is the second string A flat on top of an F minor seven. B flat seven, B diminished. So what we're doing here is we're playing the diminished shape, which you probably know, you should know it, but the pinky is down for our melody note at the beginning. G, F, C, minor seven, only as far as the second string so we can catch this E flat. Bring it up to the F minor seven, same form, second string, then through to the first string for C, and then we've got our E flat 11th fret as the top note in this B flat minor seven. This is an E flat seven. E flat 13. And then we're landing on this A flat six. Okay, the A flat six is I'm barring the first two strings and I've got the middle two fingers covering fret five on the middle two strings. Okay, so let's take another look at it from the top. Let me just give you a glance at the lead sheet I'm using. Um, if you're interested in piano, this excellent, excellent jazz piano book I got from Kent Hewitt is a big YouTuber, great jazz piano player, great jazz piano teacher. Anyway, this is a page out of his book. It's his um, arrangement of Back Home Again in Indiana, the tune we're working on. And see if I can get most of it in here. Um, You know, if you have it in a songbook, if you have it in a real book or a fake book, that would be ideal. Um, don't have a tab of it, so I can't provide that. But let's take another look. A flat six. C minus seven flat five. F7, F9, B flat 7. 
G, A flat, B flat minor 9, G, E flat 13, E flat 9, A flat 6. E flat minor 7, D7 sharp 11, F sharp note down to this D flat major 7, and then play the first string of that chord. Sorry. D flat minor 7. Play the root of a G flat, 5th string, ninth fret. Then play the other two strings of the little triangle. You know this. So we're going to play the root first, then we're going to play the other two notes, because that's our melody. A flat major 7. Again, barring the first six strings, barring the six strings, we've got the pinky on the fifth string, we've got the middle finger on the fourth string, we've got the ring finger on the third string. Let the pick continue on through to play the A flat on the first string. F9 with the C on the first string. C sharp, B flat 13 with a D on the first string. C on the first string, G on the second string, F on the second string, and now B flat minus seven with a B flat on the first string. Kind of back to the beginning here. Working our way through the tune. F minus seven, change to a C. This is a C7 sharp five. So I'm grabbing the I'm grabbing the, um, the G sharp note on this on the second string right up to the A. No, the G sharp up to the. I should really be calling it A flat. So A flat up to B flat. F minor seven. C7, but only as far as the second string B flat. C B flat G. F minor 7 with A flat on top. B diminished 7 with G on the second string, and then F on the second string. C minor 7 with E flat on the second string. F minor 7 with A flat on the second string. Pick goes through to play the C on the first string. B flat minor 7 with the E flat. E flat 7. E flat 13. A flat 6. Okay, here's the chord changes for Back Home Again in Indiana. So let me know if you have any questions. I hope that's somewhat clear. Um, next time we're going to work on the Charlie Parker line for this, which is Donna Lee. Uh, anyway, I hope you have a great year. I hope this is helpful to you. If it is, um, throw me a like. Consider subscribing. I think I have 103 videos now. But in any event, uh, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. I really do. And I'm looking forward to a, a good year. We're going to be covering a lot of tunes like we did last year, probably even more this year. Um, if you have any suggestions for tunes, let me know that too. You can do it in the comments below. But anyway, Happy New Year and have a great day. Bye-bye.